Severins, welcome back. Um, this is the second part of the Audacity Garage Band um, tutorial video. So, in the last video, I showed you how to set up your um, recording in Garage Band and to set up the tracks in Audacity. But if you remember back to the very start of the video, I didn't have the right um, setup for my laptop at home, and hopefully that'll be a bit easier for you guys. So today I've got the right setup, and we can. Get some sound out so I'm going to show you how to record into Audacity. Just a reminder though on where you can find all of the stuff just in case you've forgotten or you've watched these videos a little bit out of order. In our compass page under the year 7 music class that you're in you will have a folder called year 7 piano cat resources and in there there's another folder with all of the MuseScore and Audacity download material. There's a little tutorial PDF that I've made then there is another folder called tutorial videos. So, because uh, I'm recording this one now, it won't appear yet, but there's the MuseScore tutorial, the MuseScore tutorial about inputting your notes, and then the Audacity GarageBand tutorial. So in that tutorial, I showed you how to set up a track in Audacity and also how to do that in GarageBand. And for those of you using GarageBand, I've shown you how to record into GarageBand and export your file as an MP3. Um, and now we're going to do that for Audacity. So that's just a little reminder. Um, and a little reminder that if you are using Audacity from the Go uh, PSC apps page, it may be a little bit buggy. So my recommendation would be to download it from the Audacity website. And I'll include a link to that if I haven't already in the um, Year 7 Piano Cat resource pages. So here we go. So you're going to go down to... Uh, open up Audacity and it should open up the window. Select new and I've had to change a few of the settings on my um, keyboard to make it work with the Mac because it's generally not a Mac program. So um, don't pay too much attention to mine but all being well, all we should have to do is plug a lead into where you would normally put your headphones into the back of the keyboards and then you're going to run that out of the keyboard straight into your computer and I'll have some little adapters that you can plug the end of the lead from the headphones into the um, into your microphone jack on your computer. Should you not have that, we'll, we've got a few USB keyboards which should do the trick as well and pending everything else fails we'll just video you performing your composition and you can submit your composition that way so the nature of the you know this music technology stuff is that it doesn't always work so we just have to do the best that we can in the time that we've got and um, you know and you experiment and try new and different things so uh, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to open up Audacity and set up your track. So up the top, we've got tracks and we're going to add new audio track and that will bring up a tab here. So um, I've got my um, input here with the little microphone set to the M track because that's the recording interface that I'm using. But you'll probably have yours selected to the um, built in microphone because that's where you'll be recording into. and your output will come out of your speakers. Now, this is where we have a few issues because if you've got a headphone split with a microphone jack, you'll have your microphone going into that port, so you won't actually be able to hear your recording until you listen back to it. So we'll just have to do that because you've all got different laptops on a case-by-case -case thing. But for now, if I play my keyboard, You should be able to hear it. I think I have to hit record in order for you to hear it. Okay, so then it brings up the audio track there. So I've got the built in output so you can hear it. All right, so what you'll then do is you've just got your um, pause, play, stop, forward and back, and record there. You can check that your mic levels and your speaker levels are fine there, and then um, everything else should be pretty stock standard and we just want a very very basic recording so we're not going to play around too much with it. Like I said you can um, play around with the effects on your keyboard so if you wanted a cool funky sound for your composition you are more than welcome to do that as well. 
So I'm just going to, um, I'll show you, just remind you of my composition that we did in MuseScore the other day. So remembering it's not the world's greatest year seven piano cat composition. I'm sure that yours are much, 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 much better than mine. Actually, I know they are. I've seen some of them. So that was my composition there. And I will uh, attempt to play it for you now so you can hear how to record it in Audacity. So I'm just going to hit record and head over to the keyboard and start recording. So you can see there that there was a little bit of lag on that. I'm not quite sure how to fix it on this, and I think it's just the nature of the program. But you get the idea. So once you're happy with that, you can have a listen back to it. So that was a bit rubbish. If I'm not happy with it, I can just hit delete and try it again. So I'll try it again. Um, and I might play just a little bit quicker this time, you know, now that I've had a bit of a warm up and see how we go there. And you can hear that that was a little bit better. So once you're happy with that, then what you're going to do is you are going to save your project. So save project is for an Audacity project, not a file. So if you want to export the file, then, then you'll have to click export. But it's always good to save your project as you go on the off chance that it will the program will crash, which is, you know, it's a pretty common thing. It happens all over the shop. So I'm going to save this in my... Parkdale folder with my year seven stuff in it, my Piano Cat resources, and I'm going to save it as Miss Kalia's Audacity Comp. Okay, so I've saved my Audacity project then. Then, because I'm pretty happy with that, if you've got time and you want to have a look at some of the um, effects and have a play around with that by all means give it a red hot go I'd love to hear what you can come up with if you're just happy and a bit pushed for time and you can only manage to get the recording done that's awesome what we then need to do is export our file so that means to send it to a hard drive to our hard drive so we can upload it to compass there so we are going to go and select export audio and it will bring up um, where you want to export the audio to. So again, I'm going to export it to my Year 7 Piano Cat folder, which I have created just for you guys. And down the bottom, and yours might look a bit different if you're using a Windows program, will have the format. Now, we are going to select MP3 files, and I'm pretty sure you all know what an MP3 is because you all have smartphones and use all of that to listen to your songs on and then you're going to hit save. So it will say your tracks will be mixed down to two stereo channels in the exported file. Fine, okay, beautiful. So you can um, enter some metadata so that will come up on your track. 
So you might just type your artist name, track, um, artist name is Miss Kalia, and it's Miss Kalia's composition of Rad. Actually, piano composition of Rad. Album title, um, year seven music, track number one, year 2016, genre. Ooh. Ooh, you can select a genre. We will call it instrumental. And I'm just going to write, thanks for listening. So you can add all of that stuff and then you can click OK. So it will um, need to create a location. Um, just click OK. Could not copy MP3 encoding library. So, of course, in the video, it won't let me do that. But that's how you should be able to export the audio. All right, so we'll give that a go in class. If worse comes to worse, you can just upload the Audacity file because I'll be able to open it on the computer that I'm in. Once you've done all that, you'll go to Compass, where our class is, you'll go to our learning task, and you will select the cat and you'll upload your work from there because I've enabled you to be able to upload that. So the two things that you'll upload will be your um, PDF of your composition and your mp3 of your um, performance so if there's any questions we'll just try and navigate all the troubleshooting in class but that's pretty much how you do it so you know today's a pretty rainy day outside i'm looking outside this is the perfect opportunity to have a play around with all of that stuff and then use your class time to ask for help and troubleshoot any of the technological issues that we may face enjoy year sevens looking forward to hearing your compositions